Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here and today we are on the Crew 2 and we are testing out a somewhat new vehicle. It came out in a new motor pass and that is the Nissan GTR Haru Edition. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new as it does help out the channel. But yeah, this vehicle is the free vehicle you get from the motor pass. So this thing costs completely free. I think you need to get to about level 45 or something to actually unlock this vehicle. But once you get to level 45, anyone can unlock this vehicle. So the customization as well, because it is an addition vehicle, you can't change any visual parts. But you can change the uh, colour, which I did not know about. But I do like the pink on there, so we're going to keep the pink. You can change the livery, but it's already got a livery on. And obviously vanity items as well. So quick and easy for the price and the customization. So let's get straight into the performance. As you can see, it is a street racing vehicle and it is a base performance level of 212 and it has 280 horsepower and the top speed we don't know. So 280 parts, let's put them on and we'll see what this vehicle looks like with full 280 parts on. And hopefully this thing is good. Well, it's probably going to be the exact same as a Nissan GTR. I haven't used that vehicle in a while, but we'll see. Um, how this vehicle performs but the stats first so this thing is now 280 and has a top speed of 222 miles per hour has um, 849 horsepower 0 to 60 in 2.47 seconds quarter mile in 9.37 seconds and brake distance 60 to 0 is 19.01 yards so let's test out this vehicle and I will see you at an event in a second alright let's get this thing going shall we does look very nice. It's got a wide body kit on as well, as I can see. Because the pink doesn't actually match that, but it's alright. It's alright. Hopefully it performs well. And like I said, probably just like the normal GTR, which of course you have to pay for. But you are getting a free version here. Let's have a look. Ooh. The acceleration is very nice. Acceleration felt very good. Handling as well, not too bad. It was quite smooth. Again, I can't remember exactly how the uh, normal GTR feels, but this feels quite smooth. I won't lie, especially for a free vehicle as well. It doesn't feel too bad in the first uh, opening seconds of this race. Not too bad at all. But yeah, it does look quite nice. They are um, pretty good, Ubisoft, at designing good. Um, addition vehicles or good you know DLC vehicles for their motor passes some of them look pretty decent and they do have nice liveries and stuff on them as well and it looks like there's a uh, a new bumper as well on the back I'm not sure if that was on the original GTR or not but uh, it's on this one and it looks quite nice is there a new uh, front bumper as well no I think the front bumper is the same but the back bumper the rear bumper sorry does look very nice. I love how I'm talking about the customization while um, testing out this vehicle. But no, it's pretty smooth. It is definitely smooth. I'm not even paying, like, I'm not even concentrating fully either. And this is very good, especially for a free vehicle as well. I can't say that enough. A free vehicle. Obviously, it does take a bit of time to um, gain them motor stars, if you wish to say, whatever they're called. But once you get them stars, it is, you know, pretty easy to, um... But yeah, the motor stars, so obviously the easiest way to get them, in my opinion, is to go to the live summit. And just partake in that every week, because there's a, maybe like one, two races that give out like 30 motor stars. And then if you do them ones on top of the ones that give you followers as well, then you also get the motor stars from the weekly challenges. So you can easily level up your motor. Is it motor pass? Yeah, motor pass. So I think that is the best way to uh, get high in them levels just by doing the live summit. The live summit is also great because obviously it gives you rewards. But definitely try out the live summit if you haven't. Because you get a vehicle like this, which is very, very nice. And I know quite a few new people are actually coming to the game in the late stage. Because it is pretty much free now, the Crew 2. And it was either free or very, very cheap. So there are a lot of people uh, downloading the game for the first time and playing it for the first time as well. 
and this is a perfect vehicle to start out with very good solid vehicle that could easily um, get you to build up all them 280 parts as quick as possible very good vehicle and very smooth as well so let's give it my final verdict out of 10 so like I said the price is free customization there obviously isn't much but the normal GTR does have more customization but you do have to pay for the normal GTR and the performance very smooth very nice to handle quite quick as well and the brakes were it could have done a little bit touch it up but the brakes overall were very good so overall with the handling and the speed and the brakes all combined this this vehicle was very solid so I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 for a free vehicle I would highly recommend uh, grinding to get this if you haven't already got the normal GTR of course but yeah a very good vehicle and if you are new I definitely recommend picking yourself up this vehicle but yeah if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new as it does help out the channel and I will see you in the next video